सर एत्री इज हियर यस हेलो एत्री हेलो सर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सो हाउ आर यू आई एम फाइन सर हाउ आर यू आई एम वेरी फाइन ओके सो हु आर यू स्पीकिंग फ्रॉम सर आई एम करेंटली इन कोलकाता यू आर इन कोलकाता नाउ ओके सो आई विल गिव यू 2 मिनट्स टाइम यू प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ telling your msc msc dissertation other subjects you like then what are you doing now your hobby all these things please tell okay sir uh, good morning sir i am aitri i am from kolkata west bengal sir i am audible right yes yes okay sir i am from uh, kolkata west bengal i have done my bsc from jogamaya devi college under university of calcutta and then i did my msc from iit bhubaneswar uh, last year currently i am preparing for different competitive exams and this is the second time i'm giving interview here in jsi okay. i did my uh, yes sir i did my masters thesis on uh, coal geology mainly and i also did my field work in mython area ramtek and also in and around khurda area which is around my uh, msc campus and my hobbies include uh, singing and also like to read and sketch okay very good yes sir. today you are very precise okay yes it should be it should be because that day also i gave you input so it should be very precise that's all that will improve your uh, personality as well as your presentation you know before the audience very nice okay so let us uh, go to uh, your msc dissertation was in coal isn't it yes sir yeah okay okay so we have asked you those questions that is okay we might be knowing But let us go a little beyond it, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so there are several rift valleys in India. Yes, sir. Uh, some of them are coal bearing, some of them are hydrocarbon bearing. Yes. Can sir. you name just rift valleys and which are famous for what? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, one rift, uh, for example, the Godavari Rift, that is famous for its uh, coal bearing. Then we have Mahanadi and Eve Valley coal fields. They are also rift valleys. Uh, they have also have coals. Then we have Damodar, that is also a coal uh, coal rift valley. And apart from that, um, sir, that's all I can remember. Go to west side. Uh, yes. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. That the Kambi Rift is there. So there is okay. uh, petroleum, and um, in the western side uh, these are mainly petroleum sites basically barmer rift barmer yes what's rift what's rift yes. yes so those are petroleum bearing petroleum. or hydrocarbon bearing and these rift valleys are mostly coal bearing yes so why this distinction sir actually um Sir, I think uh, it uh, depends on the time uh, when the when these rifts basically formed. So the newer rifts, for example, the Cambrian rifts, they are post Deccan time. So then only the petroleum formed. And the, for example, if I take uh, the Godavari uh, or the uh, Damodar rift, they formed in the Parma Carboniferous time, with uh, when the Gondwana uh, the coals basically deposited. Yeah, one was a continental rift. Yes, sir. When the it was a supercontinent, this rifting took place. Yes. So, uh, fresh water or the alluvial deposits, swamp water deposits, they produce coal. Yes. And the western side, that time India was separated, so marines transgressed into those deep valleys. Yes. Sir. So you got this hydrocarbon. Okay. Yes. Very sir. good. Very good. Now, so let us see. You were you have been taught structural geology, didn't you? Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, how to differentiate between a uh, fault and a shear zone? स्ट्रक्चर Continuity will be there, but in a brittle structure there will be discontinuity. Yes, sir. Okay. Now the shear zones are marked by certain types of rock, yes, and sir. faults are also marked by certain types of rock. Yes, sir. So can you remember? Can you recall what are the rocks present in a shear zone and a fault? Yes, sir. 
So in the fault, we have we can see cataclysite and then gouge type rocks. But okay. in uh, shear zones, we can make it, uh, which is at a much higher depth, so we can see myelonites is there. Uh, okay. Is there? Yes. Cerotaclite is in fault. Oh, yes. Cerotaclite is in fault. But in uh, here, myelonites are there. Yes. Sir. Okay, good. So that means you remember the things. Okay. Sometimes shear zones are very good for mineralization, you know, economic mineralization. Yes. Sir. Can you just give an example of economic minerals present in a shear zone? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, in the Stingham shear zone, for example, we have okay. uh, we have uh, mineralization of copper, gold, and uranium. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, can you name a uranium deposit? Name, place, place. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, in the sir in the Singhum or like on whole India. Yeah, in Singhum. Sir, Singhum. Uh, there is. Uh, just give me a moment. Yes. So there was a uh, near Rachi, there was a place. Uh, I don't exactly remember the place. So in the uh, Singhum district, there was. And uh, um, so that's Jadu. what I mean. Jaduguda? Sir. Uh, Jaduguda? Sir, Jaduguda to Ramdi and then Bhati. Yes. Areas. yes, yes. Yeah, some of the names also you should remember. Yes. Okay. Sir. Okay. So. Uh, these economic minerals, you know, has certain affinity towards azores, like archaean time mineralization, protrogic time mineralization, yes, and phenerogic time mineralization. They are distinct. They are different. Yes, sir. Uh, can you just tell me how they are different? What are the minerals during archaean? What are the minerals during protrogic? Can you just tell? Me? Yes, sir. Sir, in archaean, uh, if I if I try to explain with an exam uh, example, like in Dharwar, we can find like gold mineralization, and also we can find uh, algoma type BIF mineralization. Then in Proterozoic, uh, we can find, for example, here copper we can find. Then uh, then also um, some uh, in the Eastern Ghat we can find graphite mineralization, and also uh, just give me a moment. Um, Copper, oh yes, sir. copper, lead, manganese, uh, then zinc, uh, these base, base type base metals, and the phanerozoic definitely coal deposits, and uh, also uh, petroleum, this type of deposits. Good, very, very good. Like this, very specific, specific answers to be given. Okay, okay. Now let us come to some of these petrological questions. Petrology, igneous petrology. How do you define the Bowen's reaction series? The so balance reaction series can be defined uh, with the help of a discontinuous reaction and a continuous reaction. So uh, in a discontinuous part, uh, we can find uh, like olivine, then uh, pyroxenes, then amphibole, then we can find biotite, and then k uh, uh, muscovite, and quartz. And similarly, in the continuous reaction, there is a plagioclase that uh, changes from calcium rich to sodium rich, and it, then it joins from k part to the rest. So this is the balance reaction series. Okay. Very good. Now, what is eutectic crystallization? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, eutectic crystallization is a, is a binary type of uh, crystallization where uh, at a specific point, uh, at a specific temperature, from the liquid, uh, both type of N members of crystals basically form. So if I take for an example, like a uh, diopsid and orthoid system, at the eutectic point, uh, at the, the remaining liquid will form both uh, dioxide and anoxide and other simultaneously. So that is what is. Quartz and feldspar. What type of uh, crystallization there? Quartz and feldspar. So quartz and feldspar also uh, same. You take also you take. Very good. Now suppose I ask you how to distinguish a quartz and feldspar in the field and the microscope. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, let me tell you first the uh, microscope. So in the microscope, quartz basically has uh, has no cleavage and it has a fractures. So the, uh, from there, we, I will understand. And feldspars has uh, feldspars usually show uh, cleavages, like two sets of 90 degrees cleavage sometimes it show. And also uh, in, in case of plagioclas feldspar, it's, it will show lamellar twinning. And in the field, uh, yes, sir, in the field, uh, similarly, the quartz will show fractures and it is uh, usually uh, whitish in color or colorless it can be and uh, feldspars uh, it, it shows a little grayish color and k feldspar shows a pinkish type of color if it is fresh 
and uh, uh, so that also uh, I will try to find cleavages if present, uh, if uh, I can see actually with the help of a hand lens. Good. So how to distinguish the olive and pyroxene in the field and hand specimen? Oh, sorry, microscope. Yes, sir. Sir, olivine is a mineral uh, which has very high specific, uh, I'm sorry, very high relief. And uh, also it, has, it shows fracture and uh, it does not show any type of cleavage. And pyroxene shows very distinct uh, uh, cleavage at uh, 90 degrees. And uh, in the hand specimen or field, uh, olivines, uh, olivines uh, both of them actually show darker color and I will also try to find the cleavages in the pyroxene. Okay, okay, good. Sometimes, you know, uh, pyroxene and hornblinds has similar characters. In which character they match and which character they differ? Pyroxene and uh, amphibo, sorry, hornblind, yeah. Sir, in the hand specimen, they actually have showed the similar color. Both of them are dark, very dark. Uh, and... Uh, Sir, uh, in the hand specimen, in the microscope, actually, we can uh, very easily di uh, like dis differentiate them because hornblind, the first of all, show greenish type of color, and also it shows uh, like sixty degrees, sixty one twenty degrees cleavage, and in case of pyroxene, it's completely ninety degrees. Good, good. So can you tell me something about the fossils of Himalayan? Uh, yes, sir. Just give me a moment. Yes, sir. yes. Uh, sir, in the uh, in the Tethi Himalayan, uh, where the Kashmir Basin, Spiti Basin, these are present, we can find mainly the marine fossils, and also, uh, but in the Shivalik uh, part, which is in the lower part, we can find mammalian fossils, and uh, so these are the things. So do I cover it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me, you can tell. Uh, see the Tethian fossils. Suppose I say, yes. uh, what is the as it starts? So it starts with Cambrian and okay. up to recent. Yes. Up to recent. Till tertiary and recent fossils are there. Okay. Yes. Now this uh, Shivalik fossils and the Tethian fossils, what is the difference? Uh, sir, uh, th uh, Shivalik fossils are very uh, young, like from the Miocene, it will find these fossils, like mammals, and uh, some quadrupods we will find. Uh, but uh, in the um, Tithian fossils, marine fossils are mainly there, like uh, we will find brachiopods, gastropods, this, uh, uh, and also uh, in the Cambrian, we can find uh, trilobites, so this type. Okay. So I will ask you one more question from Himalaya. There is a term called fleece, another called moles. Yes, sir. Can you distinguish them? What is the definition? Uh, yes, sir. So the uh, the fleece sediments they are formed like during the uh, during the subduction, and uh, they are marine and deep water kind of. And molas are formed after the formation of the uh, which is the basically the shivaliks. They form after the subduction, and in the outer parts they are fresh water and uh, in much uh, shallower. So these are the differences. Okay. So I will not take any interview from you now. You have hundred percent grown. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You maintain this. You maintain yes. this. You know. So if you little bit becomes you know overflowing, you know, if there is an error, suddenly you will collapse. Your yes. confidence level will go down. You know. Yes. Suppose I'm asking what is your name, you just tell your name. You know. Yes. No, this side and that side. You know. Because if there is an error, then he will point out. What is this you are talking? So if I'm asking about fleece, if I'm asking about moles, you just give the definition. Yes. That's all. Okay. Otherwise, your knowledge level, that day also I got an impression that you are quite good student. Is some of these uh, practices na, are making you a little, uh, some sort of, you know, behaving in a very immature manner. But now today I'm observing you are absolutely fine. Yes. Absolutely fine. I'll give you 100% mark. So you maintain that. Okay. Sir. Make, make kitna laugh karunga, kitna smiling karunga, kitna baat karunga. You should keep in mind. Okay, sir. If you keep in mind. After JSA Mirja, the field full ke hastero, nobody will stop. But in the interview board, you should only speak that much what is required. Okay? Yes. Okay. Sir. Good. Very good. I'm very happy today with you. Okay, carry on. Best of luck. You want to ask something? No. <laughs> Take care. Sir, you said how it was done. No, I said that. That's why I said that. Right from the beginning, I am telling you. Be precise. Be precise. Your knowledge is 
इट विल बी टोटली रिफ्लेक्टेड इन योर भाईवा थोड़ा सा आप इधर उधर बात करेंगे ना बोले थोड़ा भरबोस है थोड़ा सुपर फ्लस है दिस दिस इंप्रेशन शुड नॉट कम टू द बोर्ड्स माइंड बोर्ड्स माइंड ये ये नहीं है ना फिर आपको तो सब हो जाएंगे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगा थोड़ा सुपर फ्लस होने से क्या बोलेंगे अरे ये ऐसा सो यू डोंट डू दैट बिल्कुल टू दिस स्पेसिफिक ये मेरा क्वेश्चन था ये आंसर था धीरे टाइम लो यू जस्ट से टुडे यू टोल्ड सर आई विल टेक सम टाइम टेक टाइम और कभी नर्वस नहीं होना नर्वस होने के लिए आपको चांस नहीं मिलेगा आप सही बोलते तो नर्वस होने के लिए चांस नहीं मिलेगा ओके कैरियर बेस्ट ऑफ लॉ बेस्ट ऑफ लॉ ओके बेटा ओके ओके